What's up guys, welcome back to another muscle car walk around here at Coyote Classics. Today, Chad and I are gonna be going around and checking out uh, this badass 1980 uh, Camaro, uh, powered by an LS motor. This thing is absolutely a ball to drive, super fast. Just a really cool build, guys. Um, the previous owner had about $25,000 invested just in the restoration alone on this rust-free 1980 LS-powered Camaro. Um, gorgeous wheels on it. These are not the typical American racing wheels that I get. Did you notice that, Dalton, how they're just, the, the chrome's just deeper in them or yeah, something. I, like I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's a little grayer chrome on it or something. Yeah. But beautiful chrome wheels. Tire tread is awesome all the way around. Um, as far as what we're running for tire size, guys, we're running 245, 45, 17s with front disc brakes. As we go underneath the hood, this is super cool. This is like a, this has got Dalton written all over. Patriotic, hey, yeah, absolutely love it. Uh, there's not another LS powered car that, that I've seen real the hood, seen American flag. Yeah, pretty sweet. Um, this was an air conditioning car, guys. Uh, air conditioning components are not on there. So that is something if a guy wants to do that, you can go ahead and, and finish it out your way. It's got a new Napa Legend battery. Um, we're gonna go ahead to the back, rev it up a little bit, and then we'll come back and talk about underneath the hood when the engine's not running here. Man, that sounds cool. I can't wait to get behind the wheel this one, Del. <laughs> yeah, it'll be pretty fun. So this has got the best of both worlds. It's got the modern technology with the um, old school look. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what I wanted to say. So this thing's got it all, guys. Um, a lot of people are going kind of towards this resto mod right now, and that's exactly what this is. Yeah. When they did the paint job on this car, they did an absolutely outstanding job. Everything was taken apart, painted piece by piece, put back together, and it's just a fantastic red. It's got power steering, we got power disc brakes. Dalt, do you wanna see if we got four wheel disc? I know we got front, but. Front disc. Just front, okay. Um, bottom side of the hood was all painted, just as nice as the rest of the car. They went ahead and put the uh, hood insulation pad on there. Also the correct rubbers that go around the brand new vents that it's got. Pretty much everything on this car is brand new. Hood gap on the passenger side is even from front to back. Lines up perfectly from the top of the fender to the top of the hood. It just sticks up a little bit from you know, towards the back. Kind of right here in the middle. Yeah, right there it? in the middle, it's a little higher. Um, but it's got all new stoppers in there. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's got all brand new uh, stoppers in. Um, and it's relatively even on both sides too. It's got a nice wide gap on there on both sides. Um, we have a new Z28 emblem coming guys. Um, through detail, power washing and stuff, uh, that, that emblem needed to be replaced, so we took that off. All the lenses, the headlights, marker lights, turn signals, all that stuff is brand new, all restored as well. Grill's perfect. Front chin spoiler and striping is really nice. So many times that front chin spoiler gets beat to hell and it's all, you know. Yeah, you can tell this car hasn't been on and off a trailer a bunch of times because that's exactly what happens to it. But everywhere you look in this paint, it is just looks a mile deep. Beautiful paint job. I like this too. You know, the LSX uh, badges yeah. on it. Just kind of gives them a little hint on what's on the... Yeah, that's not a sleeper, is it? It doesn't sound like a sleeper either. You're not going to fool anybody when you uh, pull up to a stop sign in this bad boy. Um, I like what they did with the black around the windows. Uh, windshield was replaced. As we look here, the top of the dash pad, the top of the uh, metal on the dash itself has all been repainted and redone nicely. It was a factory air induction car, and the flappers still open up and stuff, but uh, none of that is hooked up. Uh, the roof is perfect. The sail panel is in excellent shape. Bottom of the doors, quarter panels, and this big <laughs> tool exhaust cannon out here. The chrome cannon looks nice. That thing sounds awesome. I wasn't expecting that when I revved it up. Yeah, wait till you get behind the wheel. I drove it when it first came in, and it's cool. Kind of nervous. 
No, don't I get pulled over with you driving. Don't be nervous. All right, as we look at the back, guys, uh, back bumper is excellent as well. So many times that uh, front and back bumpers on these things crack, um, but the paint is just flawless on it. Um, striping, tail lights are all been replaced. They're all brand new. Inside there is all professionally painted. Inside the trunk's rust free, the floor pans are rust free. They're excellent. It's got a luminized uh, dual exhaust. Go to our website, guys, coyoteclassics.com. You're gonna see just how nice and clean this uh, undercarriage is. Yeah, it's impressive. This is just a lot of car for the money. Um, one thing the car needs, uh, it's just, and we replaced it on the other side, but they're just not staying in properly, and it's pretty much the nature of the beast on these Trans Ams and Camaros. These little plastic things are just a complete joke. It was a bad design, um, but check out the door jam paint. Under the hood, trunk lid paint, everything is just as nice as the outside. That is, and it looks like, I mean, he looks like it was jam. wet. There's no dirt in them. Exactly I mean, what I'm saying. It looks like it's wet sand and buffed and polished. You know, yeah. it's super shiny in the door jam. Yeah, this goes through and tells about the quality of the car and the quality of the build. All new roof rail rubbers, um, new door panels, armrest. Check out the corners of the doors, guys. Again, rust free. If you're looking for a cool car, solid, show quality, fast, fun car, this is it. Um, the dash pad is in excellent shape. The black plastic here on the dash, that looks like that's been replaced. It's got the Pioneer uh, CD player in it. Works great. But just check out the uh, um, dash and the glove box. Everything is pristine. Got some uh, kick panel speakers in there, brand new kick panels, new carpet, new console, new lenses. All new digital gauges, so it's got tachometer, fuel, everything works on it. It's got the antenna and the windshield. All these new pieces are new, all along the in inner windshield pieces, all the inside trim, headliners, all brand new. It's got the retractable seat belts and they're they're new or excellent it looks like. I mean they're just there's no scuffs in the paint or nothing there. Um carpet, back seat belts for two in the back, the back seats all been recovered as well. What do you think of these resto mods, Dalt? What's your, what's your take on them? I think you can't beat them. You know, it's the best of both worlds. You know, you kind of got the, the power and the convenience of a modern day car. You know, they're easy to start, yet they got the looks of, you know, an old school car. <laughs> and they're just so damn powerful. And, and me and Dalton talk a lot about our 70 to 73 Camaros. Then this, this next generation, they're comfortable, they're fun, they drive good. Um, they were way detuned back in the 77, 8, 9, 80, 81. But when you go ahead and put this LS in it, that just changed all that. Something kind of interesting that I learned through a little research is I always thought, you know, these 79 and 80 Camaros, I mean, they were a different generation. But actually, they are the second, included in that second generation. Really? You know? that, I did not know yeah, that myself. 70 to 81. Yeah, but I always thought, you know, with the change of the buy style, you know, they were considered the third generation but really they're they're the second generation yeah thanks for that info yeah. um back of the hood lines up really nice down here top of the fender top of the door again the paint on the roof the paint on this pillar so many times you'll see in these pillars the factory lead line has a little crack or something this is perfect i i really don't see crap for flaws on this car the door buzzer still works i think it's too cheap man <laughs> it's a cool car somebody's gonna love it absolutely love it again this uh, inside of this quarter panel is mint seats are excellent as you go in they've all been recovered there's no wear on any of the cords there all right let's check her out the only thing I'd make this better is if that some of that flapper was working. Yeah, no. we revved it up. Yeah, that does sound 
It's cool. Awesome though. Like dash lights. Those gauges light up. Yeah, they will. It's got tilt wheel too, which is awful, awful nice. Even the interior is all restored and looks. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm hoping these wipers go off pretty quick. They work on all the speeds. I'll go ahead and hand this over to you. You got the radio kind of figured out? By going to 93. The radio works nice. We got some figures in the back shelf too. Nice. We have all the Might need a wiper switch. I just shut it off. There we go. Might need a little something fooled around with the wipers. It's finally the dark horse. I'm excited to see how this thing It's got a nice stereo system in it. The other day it was like 75, 80 degrees here. We had the windows down, had a great time, and now it's back to 40. It's Iowa for us. It has 130 miles on it. I'm guessing pretty much since the restoration, it's all digital odometer here. Um, gas gauge works, volt gauge works, tack, temp gauge works, oil pressure is carrying right at 40 pounds, and we are running about 170 right now. It does have an electric fuel pump, you can yeah, hear that hear just that. a little bit. Dome light works as well. Also the headliner is nice and tight. Here's a aux cable and a microphone, you know, for that radio. Yeah. And a remote, oh. Yeah, and a remote in there too. All right, let's take it for a spin. So with these, obviously for those that don't know, it's a four speed automatic transmission as well. Power steering, I mean one finger, just the steering is just so smooth on it. You can tell this thing just wants to just nice crisp shit. Stops nice too, even those cat trumps on the back. We have uh, you can tell there there's some definitely some sand there. Sound guys, tax works perfect. The speedometer. All right, let's get on it. <laughs> that's quick. That's what I was. That's what I was saying. It literally shifts. It, this thing is set up to shift at 6,500 RPM. This is nice about the LS. Crazy. Yeah. Um, one thing I did notice, guys, and I forgot when I drove it the first time. Um, it does the tires rub just a little bit on that inner quarter just when you hit a big bump and a lot of these muscle cars have done that on that damn bridge yeah that the first time we were on some sand and it wanted to skid a little bit but um, the brakes work perfect they stop great front disc power Man. what do you think so far I like it it's comfortable you like it or love yeah. it love it all right that's better Tons of blues. Holy. that was just complete tire spinning through first second and third um, but, and here's the thing with it, guys. We're just gonna we're just gonna cruise it right now. We're doing 65, almost 70. We're running 2,200 RPM. It's a windy day out. It's nice and quiet in here. And it goes down the road straight. Perfect. 2,000 RPM at 60. But if we want to pass somebody or somebody pulls up beside us, punch it out, and it's right there. Best of both worlds. I just can't believe that last shift, how it just throws you. Yeah, just kind of like slingshots you. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's a slingshot to you, exactly. That's an awesome uh, explanation for it. So, guys, check this car out. The best of both worlds. Show quality, red paint, beautiful black interior, rust-free undercarriage. Sounds awesome, drives awesome, just ready to go. Yeah, that's it. Sweet car. Guys, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, give us a call, uh, number 641-816-3145. Thanks for watching.